Coming in at the tail end of the 1960s, the Jackson 5 ushered Motown into its second decade with a fresh sound and a unique look. The group of five brothers became a pop music sensation. Their funky, youthful sound and tight choreography made their two appearances on The Ed Sullivan Show a moment in music history. Jackie, Tito, Jermaine, Marlon, and Michael were raised in Gary, Indiana, and at a young age were guided into music by their father, Joe. The boys' sound was influenced by top 60s performs like Marvin Gaye and The Supremes. The brothers made their start performing in local talent shows and competitions with Michael singing lead. The group caught the attention of Motown record executive Barry Gordy. The group was introduced by Motown star and Ed Sullivan show alums Diana Ross and The Supremes, and publicists spread the story that she had discovered the group. Their first album Diana Presents the Jackson 5 was released in December 1969. Ed Sullivan had taken notice of the Jackson 5 when their debut single started climbing the charts and they appeared on the ABC variety show, Hollywood Palace. Always a supporter of Motown, Ed wanted to book the boys on his show. He and Gordy came to an agreement and the Jackson 5 was booked to appear on the Ed Sullivan show December 14, 1969. That evening, Ed Sullivan introduced the Jackson 5 as a sensational group, and the brothers took the stage to sing Sly and the Family Stones' Stand. The song, which included a charming dance number, was packed with feeling. Following that, an adorable Michael Jackson, donning a striking bright purple hat and vest, told a story about a girl he met in the sandbox at school, leading into Smokey Robinson's Who's Loving You. Michael really showed off his vocal range in that number. The third song of the set was the Jackson 5's first hit single, I the song dazzled and amazed the audience. Ten-year-old Michael had a confident smile and attitude paired with an incredibly soulful voice and impressive dance moves. At the end of their set, Ed Sullivan shook the boys' hands and called out to Diana Ross in the audience. He introduced her as the person who discovered the Jackson 5. Diana stood up and took a bow. At that point it really didn't matter who discovered the five young boys as they had won over the studio audience and everyone watching across the nation. That evening, Ed was awed by Michael's enormous talent and clearly took a liking to him stating, the little fella in front is incredible. On May 10, 1970, the Jackson 5 returned to New York to appear for a second time on The Ed Sullivan Show. Motown executive Suzanne de Passe styled them in colorful outfits, bell bottoms, fringed suede vests and platform shoes. They came on stage and sang two of their hits, I Want You Back, and, ABC. The group's performance was well-coordinated, polished, and packed with energy. Before closing that evening's appearance with The Love You Save, a song they performed beautifully, Ed Sullivan took a moment to promote their summer tour and congratulate the five of them. The Ed Sullivan Show was a major career booster and elevated the group's national profile to another level. This was accompanied by a bustle of media coverage that celebrated the discovery of the music industry's new darlings. The charming performers had mesmerized and captivated fans and the media. The remarkable coverage surprised even the hard-to-please Gordy. Jackson Mania swept across the nation and Motown took advantage of the young group's newfound fame by promoting an abundance of Jackson 5-related products. They would be the last, big stars to come rolling off the Motown assembly line, during Barry Gordy's ownership of the record label.